What's up guys, FlukeFi here and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode Player Reviews. Today the player that we're reviewing is in my opinion one of the best pickups in FIFA 16 Career Mode. That player is going to be Rashedly Bazor. If you guys go on to enjoy this video today, show some support, leave a like down below and also leave a comment for other players you want me to review in FIFA 16 Career Mode. At the start of career mode, Bazor is a 75 rated center mid, 18 years old, has that exciting prospect status and has a real value of 4.8 million. When he's heading to Enquiry over to Ajax, they're going to say you have to pay up 9 million. So realistically, you can pick him up for right around 6 million, which I'll tell you guys right now, that is a bargain for this player. We'll take a look at the player information now. He is six foot tall. It's from the Netherlands, center mid, right footed, medium, medium work rates, three star weak foot, and three star skill moves. No trace to start off with and no specialties. And if you take a look at these attributes, really, really well rounded for a 75 rated player. His physical attributes for a center mid are extremely good. And he's got good technical ability as well. That ball control at 81, the dribbling at 77, and good long and short passing. But well, we're going to do something a little bit different in this episode. We'll go into the gameplay first, and then I'll show you guys his final stats. Hopping into the pros and cons for Bazor, I'll tell you guys right at the start that the majority of these are going to be pros because he is a fantastic player. And I think you guys will see that by the time you get to check out his final rating in career mode. But his first major pro for me is his price. He's relatively cheap to pick up and compared to a lot of other similar center mid options in career mode, he's one of the cheapest and he grows to be one of the best talent out of the bunch. The next pro is his speed and for a center mid, his speed is quite good. By the end of career mode, he does finish with 81 acceleration and 78 sprint speed. Of course, you can work on that through things like training and working on different attributes, so it could end up even higher than mine. The next pro for me was his dribbling. 97 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 78 agility by the end of career mode. And for a center mid, that's extremely good. And especially for like a, a center mid that plays a little bit more defensively like Bazor, uh, the next trait it has to be his passing with 98 short passing and 94 long passing by the end of career mode. So you're going to be able to find your strikers and your attackers moving forward. And then you'll have the pace as well to help them on the attacking runs. His next pro and his final pro is his defending. And like I mentioned, I would personally play him at the CDM or center mid role. I think that's where he fits best. And one con that I will mention it has to be his finishing at 67 by the end of career mode for me. It's a bit low and I wish it was a little bit higher. Uh, but to be completely honest, if you're a center defensive mid or a center mid, you don't need to finish as much as your strikers. All right, now that we have that out of the way, you guys can see Bazor ends at a 90 overall rating. At the age of 28, he started to decline after 28. For me personally, he might be able to last a little bit longer for you guys. But he does reach that one of the world's best status and has a value of 47 million. That's an increase of 42.2 million. Does pick up the crosser specialty, which I was a bit surprised by that he didn't have more specialties because if you look at his attributes, he's an incredible player and very well-rounded. As you will see, grows across the board in the physical, mental, and technical traits. Physical grows a little bit, and to be fair, he starts with great attributes, so he doesn't need to grow too much in that physical department. But if you take a look at the technical growth, ball control ends at 97, dribbling ends at 93, long passing at 94, short passing at 98, and then his defensive traits are also really good. The long shots aren't bad either. I just wish he ended with higher finishing. If he would end with higher finishing, he would literally have no cons. You could probably play him at the center mid, center defensive mid, or center attacking mid if he had higher finishing. Uh, but definitely play him at that center mid or center defensive mid. I think that's where he will see your team the best and be of the best use to you. But overall, at that center mid and center defensive mid, I'm going to give him the 10 out of 10 overall rating, the first 10 out of 10 for this year and hopefully the first of many. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you like this format or whether you want me to go back to the previous format where I talk about the before, the after, and then the cons and pros at the very end. Uh, let me know in the comment section. And until the next video, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.